It's the most horrible thing I've ever seen! Shane! But look, it's hideous! It's like something out of a freak show! Shane! Yes, I love Jimmy Neutron. I am so happy today we get to talk about it. We can discuss how well the show has aged, the, the writing that was ahead of its time. Oh, oh, we can discuss the thoughtfully woven string of consciousness that binds the series together. What's this? Oh, great. We're going to talk about the weirdest episode of the show. The one where Carl is pregnant with an alien jellyfish. Yeah, that that's his lower back. Uh, yep, that's his butt. <sighs> Great, I regret this video already. Season three, episode nine, Who's Your Mommy? The episode starts with Jimmy, Carl, Sheen, and Goddard visiting the desolate planet Schmengi. In order to retrieve an Ultra Lord action figure Sheen had left behind while using the bathroom during a previous trip. As Sheen searches for his lost Ultra Lord, Jimmy, Carl, and Goddard stumble upon strange, almost flesh-like pods that hadn't been there the week before when they just visited. Jimmy, intrigued by the sudden appearance of these strange structures, orders Carl to scrape him a sample, reassuring Carl that he will be monitoring from a safe distance the entire time. Carl then begins to do so, not noticing when Jimmy throws himself safely behind a rock. As Carl begins to scrape at a particularly fleshy part of the structure, the pod begins to twitch. Sheen returns with his rescued Ultra Lord figurine just in time for him, Jimmy, and Goddard to look all in horror as the pod splits open, dropping a goopy, gray, spider-shaped alien on Carl's face. Jimmy and Sheen, understandably concerned and deeply grossed out, try to keep Carl calm as they rush him back to Jimmy's lab. There, Carl undergoes numerous tests through which Jimmy learns that the creature is made of solidified energy and can be significantly certified as gross. He also keeps Carl from looking at the terrifying state of his own face by claiming that there are no mirrors in the lab. And after a failed attempt by Sheen to hide the alien monstrosity under a fake beard, Jimmy manages to fry it off with a laser. With frickin' laser beans! To celebrate Carl's newly freed lowered face, the boys decide to head to the candy bar where Carl begins craving a disgusting combination of vanilla ice cream, jalapenos, dill pickles, strawberries, salmon, and lard. This combined with the series of mood swings Carl undergoes, and the fact that when he walks away, a glowing pink bulge is revealed to be growing out of his lower back, alerts Jimmy to the possibility that something may still be wrong with Carl. Back at the lab, after several more tests, Jimmy realizes Carl is pregnant? Or at least has a living mass of energy growing in his... But as Carl begins to stress about financially supporting the child and Sheen begins to plan his baby alien rampage, Jimmy goes off to think like he does best. And a side note, as a big fan of the movie Alien, I always appreciate a good homage to it with the face hugger like alien causing the reason why there is a thing living inside of Carl. But moving on in the school cafeteria the next day, Sheen feeds Carl weird food combinations to satisfy his pregnancy cravings until they are interrupted by Jimmy who excitedly has developed a cure for Carl's condition. Carl, though, has grown unexpectedly fond of the concept of parenthood and wants to keep the energy mass. Going so far as to prepare possible baby names, Shmengu if it's a boy or Shmengeta if it's a girl, Sheen is thrilled to be an uncle. And after school, Jimmy goes over to Carl's house hoping to talk to him more about the situation and he quickly leaves in frustration, though dragging Carl with him when the entire Weezer family begins to talk about how excited they are for the pitter patter of little somethings to be heard around the house. It is important to note that by this point in Carl's pregnancy, his Gluteus Maximus is at that Maximus point. It is extra large, minus the soda on the side. Now back at the lab with Jimmy, he expresses his concerns about how the baby might harm Carl during the course of the pregnancy. And Carl, committed to the sacrifices of parenthood, brushes off Jimmy's concerns and heads off to the baby shower being hosted by the girl. So now over at Cindy's house in her bedroom, the girls and Carl are in the midst of opening alien-themed baby gifts. And all the other standard stuff you'd see at a baby shower, except for an alien. When Jimmy barges in, anxious to study the baby alien and Carl's condition further, as Cindy then proceeds to destroy Jimmy in an argument, and Sheen comes into the room in a matching apron set carrying a tray of scones. That's not an important detail, but I sure am hungry for scones now. Where do, where do I buy a scone? Jimmy, frustrated by the group's collective nonchalantness about the whole situation, storms out, and just as the party is starting back up following Jimmy's departure, the lights flicker in and out until they finally go out. We cut to Jimmy outside on the street as he's heading back to his lab with Sheen trailing after him. And right as he catches up, they look up to see a giant, glowing, purple, jellyfish-looking alien flying through the sky, sucking up electricity from the houses down below. Recognizing that the energy that's making up the giant alien is the 
same energy that the creature inside Carl has. So Jimmy puts two and two together and understands that, oh, this is probably the mother searching for its child. He instructs Sheen to go get the girls out of the house and keep Carl safe inside. The alien continues to fly overhead, devouring electricity until eventually the entire city goes dark. Jimmy, who's watching in surmounting horror, looks around and, spying the local power plant, immediately comes up with a plan. Cutting back to Sheen now at Cindy's house, pushing all the girls out, including Cindy, which it's literally her house she's being tossed out of by Sheen, but of course Sheen has to exclaim, Don't be selfish, get out! Back at Cindy's room, Sheen tries to keep Carl calm and ignorant of the approaching danger by having him practice breathing exercises, which apparently involves rocking him back and forth very violently like an exercise ball with the handle on it that you most likely pop because you were a little too heavy at a young age. No? J just me? <clears throat> okay. On Jimmy's end, he ends up sneaking into the power plant, flicks a couple of switches, and turns the plant back on, sending all the electricity back towards the plant. The alien immediately begins to follow those electricity waves, as Sheen is still trying to keep Carl distracted. He has him doing some calming visualization practices and exercise that quickly becomes stressful as the placid lake Sheen is describing becomes narratively infested with a horrifying monster, and Carl is listening in terror when suddenly, based on the gross sound effect, it can be assumed that his water breaks. It's time. Carl calmly gets up and prepares to uh, give birth, I guess? That sound effect was just uh, awful. On the street outside, Jimmy is waiting for the alien to get closer to the power plant in order to start his plan, but just as it's about to get close enough, Carl runs out just in time to tell Jimmy not to hurt her. Knowing what she wants, Carl then turns around and a pulse of blue light and crackling electricity, a small flying jellyfish energy alien baby, comes out of his back end. Yes, this is a plot of a Jimmy Neutron episode. This actually happened and we witnessed this. Carl says goodbye to his surrogate baby, names him Schmengel, and gives him a hug, during which he is electrocuted with enough volts to kill a horse. As mother and child fly off into the sky, Jimmy remarks on how painful that hug must have been with it being over 10,000 volts of pure energy. Carl wisely remarks that letting go of your kids is always painful. I really can't get over Carl's hair right here. He really looks like he went Super Saiyan. Like, just picture Carl in Dragon Ball Z. Jimmy, I have become Ultra Instinct Carl now. Llama Palooza will be mine. A month later, Jimmy, Carl, and Sheen are back on the planet Schmengi, this time wearing party hats and carrying a large birthday present. They enter a cave where EDM music is playing and three baby aliens are sitting around a gooey-looking birthday cake wearing matching party hats. The boys declare a happy birthday to Schmengel, having taken on uncle roles to the young alien, and Carl gives him a hug, once again getting electrocuted in the process. Sheen, who willingly goes in for the hug, and Jimmy, the only one who had any sense of brains this whole entire episode, throughout every situation, normally doesn't want to be tasered, especially by an alien jellyfish. So he begins to run away from Schmengel's loving tentacles as Carl and Sheen sit down beginning to eat the grossest cake I have ever seen. Finally, some good as strange as it is, I genuinely like this episode. Aside from the references to Alien, the fast pace of the situation, and Carl's sporadic mood swings, an outburst just helps solidify this as an episode worth remembering, I guess. Of all the episodes to bring up when talking about Jimmy Neutron, try bringing this one up and see how others react, especially from just describing the basic plot. Hey guys, you remember that episode of Jimmy Neutron where Carl got pregnant from an alien and gives birth from his lower back? Yeah, that sure was something. Another sure thing is that there are plenty of other weird, dark, and strange episodes of Jimmy Neutron. I will cover more of them in the near future, so please, in the comments, let me know your thoughts on this weird episode, as well as what other episodes from Jimmy Neutron you think are as weird or even weirder. As always, thank you so much for watching. You guys have always made this a fun time creating these videos, and I'm so glad to be back from my hiatus doing them. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It truly helps out the video overall, and I really do appreciate that kind of support. But of course, if you want to see more of this content, I'm doing about two videos a week, every Tuesday and every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of it. I'll see you shortly with another new video, but until then, later.